Hey, 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 thanks so much for tuning in today. I'm your host, EZ, the Crochet Lady, and today I'm super excited to share with you this modified Tunisian simple stitch, corner to corner. If you're new here, welcome. This is the place where we get to crochet the day away and our problems too. All right, we're gonna cover increasing and decreasing on the left and right sides for your end loops. You're gonna wanna make your end loops a little looser than normal because we need them to be loose for the slack that we need when we're making our um, increases for each row because as you as you'll see as I demonstrate in the video um, you're going to need a little a little slack for each row the right hand side works itself out because that's just how Tunisian crochet is all right so um, you just need basic supplies this is a 10 inch 8 millimeter you can use whatever you have on hand I also used a seven millimeter. For the edges, I used a 5.5 millimeter, all right? Whatever yarn you have, just to get started on this super easy project. So if you're ready, I'll meet you over in the crochet corner in just one second. Really super quick, look how nice the other side is. It looks knitted, nice and pearled. And of course, if you just sew your, your yarn like that in a loop through each loop you can't even tell where you sewed really I just love these and these make really great gifts too so you know if you're like in a hurry and you want to give somebody something totally awesome whip some of these up all right see you in a sec okay let's start out with a chain of two and then from here you're gonna single crochet in the first chain that you made Okay, so in your basically your back hump right there. All right. Now we have our first, we're going to make our first increase. So this is what your single crochet looks like upright, and then we have it turned to the side, which is how we're going to use it. So you've got your vertical bar, and then you have your little loop just above the vertical bar. So this is where we're going to make our increase on each row. So go ahead and insert your hook into that little loop just above your vertical bar. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Then you're going to come over to your front loop, okay? Yarn over, pull up a loop, and then we're going to we're going to insert our hook into both of those loops right there. So it's not really a loop because it's, you know, a tail, but we're going to pretend that it is, okay? Yarn over and pull your yarn through both, just like this. You want to make sure that you have an end loop, a tiny end loop, and an end loop over here, okay? So all the way around, you want to make sure that you have nice loops. All right. From here, this is how I make my end loop a little bit looser. I just take my finger and move the yarn forward. That way, I have enough room to where my loops are going to be even. So go ahead and yarn over, pull up one loop once you've extended your end loop there, and then we're just gonna do a normal close. Okay, so we're done with row one. Now, we're just going to increase, as I mentioned earlier, on each row until we're ready to decrease. So once you've gotten to the end of your row and you have your last two loops here in the loop on your hook, you're going to insert your hook, remember, into the little loop just above your end vertical bar there, your front vertical bar. yarn over and pull up a loop and then we're going to proceed with the modified Tunisian symbol stitch so grabbing your front vertical bar and front horizontal loop at the same time yarn over and pull up a loop now we've got our end stitch here and then we have our end loops coming up next Okay. 
So to increase on the end loops, you're going to insert your hook into the front end loop there, just the one. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Then you're going to insert your hook back into both loops. This time it really is both loops because we've already dealt with our tail in the very, very beginning. So insert your hook into both loops, yarn over, and pull up. Remember, moving your end loop up forward just a little bit, okay? And then you're going to proceed with a normal close. Okay, so just keep repeating this method. I'll walk you through it one more time. So we're going to always increase for this particular pattern just above the front vertical bar at the edge. Okay, so insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then we're going to follow through with modified Tunisian symbol stitch across and remember that's just picking up your front vertical bar and front horizontal loop at the same time. Okay, let's do our end of row increase. So Insert your hook into the front end loop, yarn over and pull up one loop, and then you're going to insert your hook into both end loops, yarn over and pull up. Extend your loop just a little bit, and then proceed with a normal close. Yarn over, pull up one loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops all the way down. All right. So we are starting to form a nice, nice corner, okay? So go ahead and keep on increasing using this method, and I'll see you in just a few short rows where we will start the decrease and finish our project. Okay, let's get ready to do our decrease. Now I'm going to finish up here making my last stitch before my decrease. Okay, okay so now we've got our end loops right here, and then we have our last stitch. Okay, we've got our vertical bar, our horizontal loop from, for our last stitch, and then we have our end loops. From here, for this particular pattern, you're going to decrease by inserting your hook underneath the vertical bar only. We're going to omit the horizontal loop this time. And then you're going to insert your hook under both end loops. Yarn over and pull through both, just like that. Okay, make sure to extend your end stitch just a little bit. And then we're going to follow with a normal close. Yarn over, pull up one, and then, of course, yarn over and pull through two all the way down. Now, I'll meet you guys right back over here where we're going to do our decrease on the right-hand side. So when you have three loops, stop, and I'll meet you right over here. Okay, I'm going to make my last stitch here, so I have three loops on my hook. Now, to decrease for this particular pattern, you're going to yarn over and pull your hook through the last three loops. Just like that. Next, we're going to follow through with modified Tunisian simple stitch in each stitch all the way to the end.
Okay, so I'll lead you through the decrease again in just a sec when we get over here. Okay, so we're ready for our decrease again, and it looks a little differently this time because we've already done one row. So what you're going to do is we have our end loops right here, okay, and your vertical bar. So you're going to insert your hook into the vertical bar and the end loops. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then remember, extend your stitch just a little bit, your end loop there, and normal close. Yarn over, pull up one, and then yarn over and pull through two, all the way down. Okay, now let's just take a look at what we have here. So you can see it's forming a nice square. Okay, so go ahead and follow through with <clears throat> excuse me, with your close at the end. Remember, when you have three loops on the hook left, that's when you're going to yarn over one more time and pull through all three loops, okay? So I'll see you in a few short rows um, when we're going to be finishing up the last loops, and then we'll do okay, the Okay, let's work the end of this square together. So we're going to make our last few stitches. Now, we have one more stitch than our end loops, so we're going to work that stitch as normal, pull it up, pull up a loop, and then we're going to insert our hook into the end loops there, yarn over, okay, then we're going to pull our, our yarn through all three loops. Yay! Okay, now we are ready for the next, whoops, we're ready for the next step, which is the edge, okay? So I'll see you guys in just one second where we'll start our edge. All right, so we pulled our, our um, yarn through our last three loops there, and then from here we're going to single crochet three stitches in that, that same loop, okay? And then we're going to single crochet in the next, well, basically your first edge stitch here. And then chain one. Single crochet in the next set of loops. Chain one. And you're going to follow this all the way down to the end. So I'll see you guys right All right, so here. we finished one side of our edge, and we're down to the next corner. So go ahead and make three single crochet in your corner stitch here, or your corner loops. And then a single crochet in the set of loops right after the three that you just made. And then we're going to chain one and continue our edge stitch. Remember, you're going to single crochet in each set of loops and then chain one. When you reach your border, you're going to make your three single crochet. You can choose to skip over this little hump. I usually do. It's really, really super small. All right, so go ahead and finish your, um, your first round of your border, and I'll see you guys right back over here where we start. All right, so we've reached the beginning where we started. This is our last single crochet right before we start round two of the border. So what you're going to do, so we've got our, so let's take a look at what we have first. We have one, two, three, single crochet in our corner. This is our middle stitch right here. So we're going to chain one, single crochet as normal. Then we're going to single crochet into the next uh, stitch there. And then we're going to make our corner. 
in the corner stitch. So three single crochet. Okay, then we're going to make another single crochet in the stitch right next to it. Okay, then we're going to do a slightly different um, step on the second round. So we're going to chain one like we normally do. And instead of single crocheting in your single crochet, you're going to single crochet in the chain one. You can, you can single crochet in the chain one loops like I am, or you can just single crochet in the chain one space. Okay, so chain one, skip, single crochet in your chain one area. Chain one, skip, single crochet in your chain one. Okay, you're going to follow this technique all the way over here. I'll see you guys right back on this edge or this all corner. Alright, so we're down to our next edge and I'm just going to make my last chain one here and I'm going to skip. Then I'm going to come into the next loops, the next stitch. Single crochet. And then I've got my middle crochet. So right over here I'm going to make three single crochets in the, in the corner, the corner stitch right here. A single crochet right next to it and then chain one and resume with your pattern so skip your single crochet and make your single crochet in your chain one chain one skip make your stitch okay so you guys have one two more corners to do and I'll meet you right back, um, let's see, over here. Okay, just one minute. All right, so we have made it all the way around. Now let's get ready to work our last few stitches, okay? So we're going to chain one. I've got my next single crochet, which I'm gonna skip, and I'm gonna come right into the very next one, okay? Finish that stitch. Pull your yarn through, snip, and we're just going to do a really quick invisible close. Okay, so go ahead and get your needle threaded, and you're going to skip the next stitch. Insert your needle into the horizontal loops, okay, of the next stitch like so. Pull your yarn through. And then insert your needle into the back of the stitch you were just um, working. And pull it through. Okay. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The corner to corner. Okay, where's our real corner? This is the beginning right here. Okay. So you have a nice square. Of course, you can, you know, make shawls whatever you want with this. Super versatile. All right, you guys, as always, I enjoy kicking it with you, and thanks so much for spending time with me today, the Crochet Lady. All right, I'll chit-chat with you in the very near future. Peace out.